Hello, my most beloved and murderous horde, and welcome back. I am your mistress of murder, and you all by now know Charlie. Say hello, Charlie. May the gods have mercy on your souls for choosing this video. Either way, enjoy and revel in the destruction of both your mental health and mine. Here are the top 25 most horrifying, disgusting, and honestly quite concerning facts that I can name off the top of my head. Fact number one. Texas is the only state that has banned the final meal tradition for prison inmates on death row. Why? Lawrence Brewer. On June 7th of 1998, a 49-year-old African-American man from Texas named James Byrd Jr. was brutally murdered by Brewer and two other assailants. While Byrd was still alive, his perpetrators tied his ankles to the back of a pickup truck and dragged him for three miles. Bird was killed when he got decapitated by the edge of a storm drain pipe. Brewer was convicted and put on death row, but he had one final fuck you for all Texans and Texas inmates. His last meal. He requested two chicken fried steaks with gravy and sliced onions, a triple patty bacon cheeseburger, an omelet with cheese, ground beef, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos, a bowl of fried okra with ketchup, one pound of barbecued meat with half a loaf of white bread, three fajitas, a meat lover's pizza, one pint of vanilla, Blue Bell ice cream, a slab of peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts, and three root beers to wash it all down. His request was granted. However, when this feast was given to him, he refused to eat any of it, thus screwing over not only the taxpayers of Texas, but also ending the tradition of last meals in the state altogether. Fact number two. Cannibalism is not illegal in the United States or in the UK. In fact, it is only considered to be socially unacceptable. What's more is that even in modern times, though we all would hope that cannibalism is a trend of the past, there are countless documented cases of cannibalism in the past hundred years. Some of these cases happening as recently as the early to mid 2000s. Fact number three. There are five types of cannibalism. Criminal cannibalism, aggression cannibalism, sexual cannibalism, ritualistic cannibalism, and nutritional cannibalism. Fact number four. The gas chamber was actually a commonly used method for capital punishment in the USA from 1921 to 1999. It is still technically a legal form of execution in most US states. It was used in over 600 capital punishment cases and only dropped in favor during the early 21st century due to a lower court hearing in California who then decided that it was unconstitutional as it violated the Eighth Amendment, which protects Americans from cruel and unusual punishment. However, it only made it illegal in California and a select few other states. The only other countries to use this method are Lithuania and Nazi Germany. Fact number five. SCOTUS never ruled that the gas chamber, as mentioned previously, was unconstitutional. And in fact, recently SCOTUS ruled that the U.S. Constitution does not guarantee you a painless death. Fact number six. 
butterflies have been known to drink blood. Fact number seven. While no one has ever been burned at the stake in the United States, despite popular belief, there is at least one incident during the Salem witch trials in which someone was pressed to death by stones. The man's name was Giles Corey, and he was pressed to death in order to extract a plea from him as to whether or not he was a witch during the Salem witch trials. This being prior to the U.S. Constitution, he was reported to be a standing mute, which was the then equivalent of pleading the fifth. So, for the next three days, in order to get him to make a plea, he was laid in a pit and had large slabs of rock placed on him, literally, cr slowly crushing him to death. His dying words to the prosecution, judges, and onlookers when asked what he pled was quite more weight. Fact number eight. Most of what we know about the stages of hypothermia came to us from the Nazi human experiments. Fact number nine. Fifteen percent of the air you breathe in an average metro station is human skin. Fact number 10. There are over 200 corpses on Mount Everest, and they are used as waypoints for climbers. Fact number 11. A rat king is a phenomenon created when a large group of rats become fused together by their tails via ice, dirt, hair, blood, or even feces. Encounters with this horrible phenomenon inspired some of humanity's greatest myths. Fact number 12. The Phantom Time Hypothesis. This theory was developed by a German historian, and it basically states that the AD dating system is basically made up, and about 300 years of humanity's history never even happened. Fact number 13. Lake Tahoe is found in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and it's actually quite popular when it comes to tourism. However, lurking beneath the depths is a literal graveyard. Since the lake is so cold, people who drown there don't float to the surface. They sink to the very bottom. But because of the lake's depth, divers can't go down to find or recover those bodies without special equipment. It is said that the bottom of the lake harbors thousands of bodies all perfectly preserved in the icy water's depths. Fact number 14. There is a stinging shrub found in Australia known as the Gumpy Gumpy that will inject you with a neurotoxin so powerful that it will literally make you want to commit suicide. The pain is likened to hot acid and being electrocuted at the same time. It is so intense that even the animals that encounter it try to kill themselves. One man made the horrible mistake of using this shrub for his toilet paper, only to experience the most painful burning sensation of his life. It got to the point to where the man actually pulled out a gun and shot himself rather than go through the pain any longer. Fact number 15. The Euthanasia Coaster is an art design for a steel roller coaster that is literally designed to kill the people riding it. It was designed at the Royal College of Art in London, and the purpose is to, and I quote, take lives with elegance and euphoria. It has one gigantic lift hill and seven inversions. Fact number 16. The terms graveyard shift and dead ringer, as well as the phrase saved by the bell, all came from the same origin. You see, back in the days when medicine was still very young, doctors couldn't always tell if you were dead before they buried you underground. And, unfortunately, this resulted in a lot of people being buried alive. They found this out after exhuming several coffins, 
only to find the inside of the lids scratched and the remaining corpses with very damaged and or severely bloody fingers. This prompted coffin makers to start making coffins with an air pipeline sticking out of the ground with a bell at the top of it that was connected to a string that would be tied to the deceased's finger or wrist. This was to ensure that if the person woke up, they would then be able to breathe, move around to make the bell ring, and a designated watcher in the graveyard would then hear the bell and know to start digging them up, prompting all three phrases. Fact number 17, coffin births. Also known as post-mortem fetal exclusion, is the expulsion of a non-viable fetus through the vaginal opening of a decomposing body of a deceased pregnant woman as a result of the increasing pressure of intra-abdominal gases. Also relating to coffins, fact number 18, exploding coffin syndrome. This is what happens when a rotting corpse in a casket builds up too much pressure inside and it literally fucking explodes. Fact number 19. The phobia of long words is, and I'm not joking, hippopotomonstrosis quipedaliophobia. It is one of the longest words in the English language. <sighs> number... <sighs> Fact number 20, the term munging, that is M-U-N-G-I-N-G, -I is an act of necrophilia. It's basically where a fresh corpse is dug up by two individuals. One places their mouth on an orifice of the corpse, being mouth, genital orifice, or anus, and the other person jumps on the to the corpse's stomach, thus releasing the mm, soup of decaying organs, bodily fluids, and embalming fluids. Okay. Fact number 21. Statistically, you will walk past a murderer 36 times in your life. Fact number 22. Human flesh has been described to taste like pork and steak tartare. For those of you who do not know what tartare is, it is basically raw meat. Fact number 23. It would take less than a teaspoon of botulinum toxin to kill every human being on the planet. The same toxin is used in Botox injections, though it is diluted in those cases. Fact number 24. 10% of all organ transplants are done illegally. And last but not least, fact number 25. During World War II, the Japanese Imperial Army carried out horrifying experiments on humans, such as vivisection of living people, injection of diseases disguised as vaccines, freezing the subject's limbs to study the effects, and amputating limbs of the subjects, reattaching them to other parts of the bodies, and so on and so forth. In fact, a lot of the now common knowledge medical information the United States knows today came from these experiments. I do so hope you enjoyed that video, my horde, because I most certainly did not. And remember, my lovelies, haunting dreams and blessed be.